All right. So by now, I'm sure everybody here has heard of a MAG. And if you don't know, it is a mutual assistance group. And it's going to be one of the more important things that you could do in the prepping community. And let me explain why real quick before I get into the subject of this video. MAG is there so you don't have to go it alone. Doing it alone, especially in an uh, SHTF situation, is not ideal. Granted, it can be done, but it is not very smart for obvious reasons. Having a MAG takes off different responsibilities for an individual person and spreads it around throughout the group, depending on how many people you've got. The more, the, the more people you have with good skills, let me add that, the better. Obviously, if you have a lot of people that are about as dumb as the troll on the first Harry Potter movie, then, well, yeah, it's not going to be very useful. So, the more people with good skills in your mag, the better. Because, again, it's going to take off the responsibility off the individual and spread it throughout the group. Now, I'm going to talk about community building or building a community in an SHTF situation, the different kinds of communities that you might expect there to be and how a community very well might start off. Um, now, obviously, if it's a bad enough situation going on, uh, let's say it's a grid down nuclear war or anything like that, something, something big, you're going to have chaos obviously so one thing that we can do to help uh, mitigate the chaos um, you know is building communities because cities are probably going to be um, screwed let, let's just say so you're probably going to end up sooner or later having smaller communities emerge um probably near cities but not too close because cities will still have certain resources let's say <clears throat> um so one thing to remember is especially if you're not going to be in a community right away you're going to be by yourself uh you're going to want to find a community because again Having everything or having to do everything on your own is not going to be good. It's not going to be ideal. You're going to wear yourself out. You're going to wear out your equipment. Um, things are going to fail prematurely because you're using everything constantly. And you're using all of your stuff constantly so you're going to want to eventually find a community especially if it takes you know if this event is years long one thing to remember about different communities is they're likely going to be run by different people meaning some communities are going to have one way of governing than another meaning there's a potential to run across different mindsets, uh, different type of communities. Just as there are certain governments, there's going to be different community leadership. Some might be communist or have communist tendencies. And just because you aren't going to be of that mindset doesn't mean they're not going to exist. You're going to have people out there that are going to say, hey, this is the way it's going to be. It's going to work better this way. Some of, the, some of them are going to have open communities, more free, you know, where the people have more freedom, you know, not communism. And then you're going to have some communities that are going to be a straight up dictatorship. And you might actually see these more often than not. Let me tell you why. For certain communities, Depending on the people in the area, you might they might have to resort to being a dictatorship, in, especially if it's a group of hard-headed people, let's just say. Um, 
if you've got a smart leader and you've got people who don't really want to work too much, but you know you have to have them there in order to keep the community going, keep the keep the mag afloat, so to say. If you've got a smart enough leader, you're going to have to realize, hey, giving these people all of this freedom right now is going to be detrimental. So you might very well have to have certain communities start off as a dictatorship just to get the ball rolling, if you understand what I mean. Because there's some people you're going to have to put, you know, they're going to have to lay down the law in order to get things done. You do it this way, you don't do it that way, you get it done now, and there's consequences for arguing, there's consequences, ah, I can't speak today, consequences for laziness. A lot of communities very well might start off this way, and I say start off this way as in there very well might be a change in leadership when once they realize that it's going, you know, it can be done now without being a dictatorship, you know, it might switch over. There's also some communities where they very well might start off with that mindset of, hey, this needs to be a dictatorship right now, but we can go to a different way later on. But then they become power hungry. You know, not all not all communities will be this way, but some most certainly will end up being this way, and it will remain that uh, under that dictatorship, under that one person. Um, and especially if you are by yourself, you know, it would be a good idea to try and watch these places. But being by, like I said before, being by yourself is highly unrecommended. Some people say that they can do it. You know, I'm not going to argue with you. If you say that you can do it, fine. So be it. Go it alone. Don't go complaining to anybody. Don't go seeking anybody else's help. You know, a week into a week into the shit. Come on, wipers, turn off. <sighs> really? Really? There we go. Anyways, don't go complaining to anybody or asking for anybody's help down the road because you said you could go it alone and then you realized you actually can't go it alone. So don't go complaining. But what's best to do, you know, what's best right now is build your own mag. Get your mag started if you don't already. Establish with that mag, hey, in this situation we're going to do things this way this is how we're going to operate you know get that so let, let's just call it get that form of government started right now in times of you know in good times relatively good times get that form of government get that form of leadership established right now that way when and if the shit does come, you already know what's going to, you know, what it's going to be like. You already know who's going to do what, what, you know, maybe you're going to be at that point where you don't have to start it off as a dictatorship because everybody already knows their roles. Everybody knows consequences to, to doing inaction because um, Doing nothing is actually doing something, and doing nothing is could be detrimental, but doing nothing typically is a negative thing. So, again, having a mag right now already established is going to be your best bet. That way you're not trying to build a community afterwards, but... Again, remember, sometimes there's going to be certain places, certain people, they're going to have to establish a dictatorship just to get the ball rolling. And I know a lot of people don't like that kind of thing. But that's just the way it is. And that's the way some places are going to be. 
And some of these places can be dangerous. Some of these places can be good. But again, it's having that importance of, you know, you're taking the responsibility off of one individual person and you're spreading it around to other people, uh, potentially taking, you know, rotations in those responsibilities. But again, to anybody who's thinking about just doing it alone, very bad idea. I'm not saying you can't do it because you most certainly can. And I'm not going to argue with you. But building a mag is probably one of the most important things you can do. It's not saying that building a mag takes the responsibility off of you saying, oh, well, now that I'm in a mag, I don't need to build a bug out bag or I don't need to put it back food or I don't need to make sure that I have a clean source of uh, drinking water. Because even if you're in a mag, you still have those responsibilities to be able to do that kind of stuff, to have the have those resources because everybody should have those resources even if you're in a mag because sometimes having it a you know community food or community water or things like that sometimes that might be necessary but having your own shit even in a mag, means you have your stuff together. And that's going to be important. And apparently this minivan doesn't know how fast I want to go. Guys, that's going to be it for today on this one. I'll see you all later.